everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to increase the resolution and apply widescreen hacks on PlayStation 1 games on RetroArch on iPhone or iPad. So um, we have the PlayStation 1 game Tomb Raider loaded up here. It's in the 4 by 3 aspect ratio and it looks pretty ugly because it's in its original PlayStation 1 resolution. But we're going to go ahead and fix that. So the way to do it through touchscreen is to press the RetroArch button here. And then we can go ahead and go into the quick menu and make some changes to the core. So what's quite important is that when you're loading up a PlayStation 1 game is that you're using the correct core. So this particular core is the Beetle PSX HW. If you're using the PCSX rearmed core, then you're not going to have as many options. So anyway, within the quick menu, we're going to scroll and find core options. And then we're going to go ahead and change core options here. So we're going to tap on video and then we're going to change the resolution. So the internal GP resolution is the one that's going to affect gameplay the most. So I'm going to tap on this and uh, we're going to increase this by four times. It's going to make a pretty big difference in how the game looks. So if I go back and I go ahead and press the play button here and this looks way better than before. So it's way sharper because it's uh, rendering at a much higher internal resolution. Next, what we're going to do is apply widescreen hacks. So um, what we're going to do here is go to emulation hacks. Next, we're going to apply the widescreen mode hack. So to do this, you have to tap on this and then it's going to toggle. So if you want to toggle it off and on, you don't have to press this side as I've discovered. So turn it on and then that's now changed to a beautiful widescreen aspect ratio. And then next, what we're going to do is also, there's a good one here called PGXP. So to turn this on, we just need to uh, enable this. So just tap on that to enable, turn it on to memory only, and then apply these fixes. So do that, that, that. And then all of the PGXP fixes are applied. Press play here. And uh, the wibbly wobbly PlayStation 1 graphics of the time are fixed using that particular setting. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to find out how to load RetroArch on an iPad, iPhone, and get ROMs and BAS files set up in the first place, then make sure to check the link at the top of the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.